If you're constipated, powdered laxatives are a great place to start getting more regular, but many patients don't know how to use them correctly and therefore they don't achieve their desired results. Watch the rest of this video to see how to get optimal pooping results from powdered laxatives. The powder laxatives that you may commonly see include Miralax and Clearlax, and these are the brand names of the generic polyethylene glycol. This is an osmotic laxative, and while it looks like a fine powder, at the molecular level, it is a difficult to break down bulky molecule that resides within the intestinal tract and does not get absorbed. And because it stays within the intestinal tract, it acts like a sponge soaking up water, holding on to it so it makes your stools softer. So when should you start a laxative? Well, if you're watching this video, it's probably time that you do. If you're bothered by constipation, you're gonna to need to make diet and lifestyle changes to gain regularity, but those take time. And so it would be appropriate to start a laxative when you are bothered by constipation. If constipation persists for weeks on end, then you also need to reach out to a doctor to be evaluated to see if this is actually an alarming sign of a bigger problem. So how should you use a powdered osmotic laxative? People are used to being prescribed medications in a very precise way, but there's really nothing that precise about managing constipation when we're talking about osmotic laxatives. You're gonna to have to dial this up and dial it down depending on your personal response. And so it helps to explore the space. So what I do here is outline some sensible parameters to use these over-the-counter medications. And as you're in that process, engage with your physician to see if you're getting on the right track. When a patient is starting osmotic laxatives, such as Miralax, I also encourage that they try fiber. Your response to fiber or Miralax can be different. Some people respond to one better than the other, or they may have side effects from one that they lack with another. And I can't really predict how your body is going to respond. And so I think a sensible thing to do is to try both early on to see what you prefer. When starting an osmotic laxative, most patients should start with a single daily dose, which is usually a capful, mixed into a drink of your choice per the package instructions. Now you can have any drink that you want, but I do encourage that people avoid really sugary beverages. These can upset your bowels for separate reasons, and it also has a lot of empty calories that can lead to unwanted weight gain. The single biggest thing that I'd want you to take away from this video is my next piece of advice, which is to not expect results on the first dose. The fact is that the stool that's in your colon, it's already formed, and these medications are really not gonna do much to soften that. Rather, it's gonna be two or three days before you're gonna appreciate a new regularity and tempo of your bowel movements. If your constipation persists after a few days of taking the medication regularly, then increase to twice a day dosing. Make note of this dosing change so that when you see your physician at follow-up, you can discuss the dose you're presently on. Once you appreciate relief, great. But your constipation was not likely cured. Constipation is very often a chronic problem. And if that's the case, you're gonna to need to take this medication faithfully. You may find after a while though that your stools become runny, and that's because the initial constipation has passed out of you. If that's the case, then it may make sense to adjust the dose back downwards. So anticipate that your maintenance dose for regularity may be a lower dose than the initial dose that you needed to get relief of constipation. But stopping the medication abruptly can lead you straight back into uncomfortable constipation and wild swings from being constipated to having stools or too runny that can be very frustrating for patients. So what are the side effects of these laxatives? Well, because they're not absorbed into the body, they're really very few. There can be rare allergic reactions like there is for any medication. Most of the side effects tend to be more related to the GI tract. Miralax and its equivalents tend to be very well tolerated. That sense of bloating may occur, one, just because the person is constipated and they're now taking a lot more volume in through the medication regimen. It can also be that that osmotic pull is bringing new water into the colon, and there can be some cramping as things get revving back up towards normal again. If these medications are so safe then, why does the packaging label say to only take it for a couple of weeks? Well, I really can't get inside the mind of a corporate lawyer, but I think this is in part to allow for its easy use over the counter. If you have new onset constipation for weeks on end, it does beg the question of whether a larger problem may be brewing. If you're evaluated by a doctor and they find no larger concern, then many patients can continue an osmotic laxative for years safely. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to the channel for more information about constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, and other management of gut-related health concerns. Thank you and be safe.